The purpose of fear is to call us into action, and there is plenty to be afraid of today. Half the population has lined up for an untested, deadly, and debilitating experimental injection because they were told to be afraid of an invisible asymptomatic disease. The perpetrators of all this have clearly stated their goal of having 80% of the population hooked up to an artificial intelligence hive mind in less than nine years. For those of us who have awoken from the spell, we know this is all really happening, and it's unbelievably unsettling to see. But there is only two things to do. We continue sounding the alarm because it's a numbers game. If enough people awaken from the cult spell, then we win. But even when we win, and we eventually will, the days of convenience are soon coming to an end. And so we must prepare. When you have a society that has become decoupled from each other, and has free-floating anxiety and a sense that things don't make sense. We can't understand it. And then their attention gets focused by a leader or a series of events on one small point, just like hypnosis. They literally become hypnotized and can be led anywhere. Mass psychosis, also known as group mind, mob mentality, or herd mentality. Before modern civilization, we lived in herds, and in order to survive in the herd, we conformed to the herd. This is where mass psychosis all stems from. The most popular examples of explaining mass psychosis are typically angry moms and violent riots. Now, these are merely the end results. Mass psychosis begins when the individual mind starts to identify as a member of the group based on any unifying factor. The unifying factor doesn't even need to make sense. For many people, the feeling of unity is enough. Our ego mind innately craves acceptance, and by default, will instinctively conform to whatever group it perceives to be the majority. In order to successfully conform to the group, the individual must put aside personal intuition and follow the guidance of the group. This makes a person highly controllable and spiritually stifles the individual, which causes them to crave group acceptance even more. Man's disposition for mass psychosis has been written about for millennia, most notably in ancient scripture and philosophy, and we all experience this as human beings. Plato argued that due to the nature of the mind, democracy always leads to tyranny and subjugation. His concern was the lack of good.